What's up, family? This has got to be one of the most aberrant things that I've ever heard of. You got a gang member out of Georgia who molested a little boy as part of his gang initiation. What even crawls into a person's head that could convince them that something like that is a good idea? How does that happen? Now, I would like to give any gang organization the benefit of doubt that this is just some dude claiming he ain't really in this gang. He ain't a part of us. We don't condone this type of behavior. But it's so much fuckboy shit going on out there with the current generation that I don't know. And, and let me say that the current generation learned from my generation. So ain't like I'm excusing no, nobody, you know. Let's, let's get that straight. If it wasn't for my generation, they wouldn't be as fucked up as they are, the ones who are. Now, we got a lot of kids out there that's doing good and they own their game, so I'm not talking about y'all. But y'all got a lot of peers that's on some straight up bullshit. Now, because if I was a gang leader, I would not want my name associated with something like that. I would not want something like that on my record. This dude goes by the name of Antonio Banks. He's 25 years old. Remember the name. Antonio Banks. Some people are saying when he goes to jail for, he's been charged with kidnapping and child molestation. Some people are saying when he goes to jail, he uh, is going to be raped and all this stuff and ain't nothing going to happen to him. Trust me. You know, the dudes that want to do it in jail, man, they do it anyway. They look forward to doing it. And there's a culture in the prison system these days where that type of activity is protected by the police. In fact, they encourage it. And if you put your hands on one of them homosexuals, they're going to fuck you off. They're going to hide you. So, Please stop with the, oh, when he go to jail, he's going to be somebody's bitch. And that, man, that's old, dog. That's the antiquated way. That's the antiquated rules. It ain't like that no more. It's just not like that. Now, this dude, uh, they say he and another guy held the victim down when the victim tried to run. So they're saying that initially the victim was okay with everything. But then when they tried to perform oral sex on him, this Antonio Banks dude, that's when the guy tried to run. He wasn't down with that. Now, this is very, very interesting the way gangs have evolved because you know you always had the situation where females would offer their bodies to multiple gang members in order to get into a gang that was part of their initiation and you know guys would get jumped in they'd get beat up I, I for the life of me will never understand how you let somebody put their hands on you and don't put something on their ass back I mean I, I for that reason alone, I could never be in a game. You put your hands on, I don't give a damn. Anyway, keep your hands to yourself. I ain't. I don't give a damn about no gang, no organization that much. Well, I'm going to allow a motherfucker to purposely put his hands on me. Purposely swing on me. That right there is some silly ass shit to me. 
I never been interested in joining a gang because I've always been a leader. And also, I've always understood the ramifications of being in a gang. The gangs don't have a good benefit system. Their benefit package stinks and their retirement package stinks even worse. Why would I want to be a part of that? Why would I want to be a part of something where people destroy their neighborhoods instead of building their neighborhoods up? Why would I be, want to be a part of something where everywhere I go all day long, I got to watch my back? Now, I got to watch my back anyway. But when you are in a game, you got people actively looking for your ass to kill you all day. Like, so you're not going to accidentally come into some conflict. The conflict is coming to you. They're looking for you. Why would I want to get caught out of pocket? Somebody recognize me. Oh, you, you part of the red. You part of the blue. You part of this. You part of that. Uh, that's too much shit. Uh, black people already got enough ways to die. We got all kind of shit. You know, we got besides accident, you get hit by a car. You know, you got shit. You got diabetes, heart disease, cancer. Man, you got liver disease, kidney failure. Man, it's a million ways to die. Why would I want to just add, purposely add another method of dying? Why would I do that? Makes no sense to me. So that's why I never joined the game. And a lot of people say they join for camaraderie. It's a family thing and all that. A lot of people have been neglected and, you know, the gangs, you know, they, they take you in, they make you feel special and make you feel like family. They make you feel all that way till it's time to pay them lawyer fees. Or it's time to do that time. You can't find them motherfuckers then. When you, when you in there doing that time and mama got to pay rent. Mama trying to pay a light bill. This happens all the time. There's millions of stories like this. Mama all on her own. Your children on their own. Where they at when your ass locked up? And those kids need some milk, or some pampers, or even need some money for a field trip at school. You know, what, where your friends at then? What the gang members at then? They're going to abandon your ass. The gang members are there to use you at their discretion. And when they can't use you anymore, they are going to abandon you. That is the M.O. You are just an underling. No matter how strong you think you are. No matter how loyal you think you are, how loyal you think the gang is, they are going to turn on your ass when it count when you need them the most. You're going to be on your own. I've seen it happen dozens of times. And you and your gang is no different. They're going to put that key in your back, turn that motherfucker and wind your silly ass up to go out there and fuck your whole life off. Now he say he did this because the gang leaders told him to. That motherfucker sucked that dick because he wanted to suck dick. That's why he did it. He was a dick sucker before the initiation. He was already sucking dick. That's why he did it. Had nothing to do with being in a gang. Trust me, not saying that he got some gang members that ain't sucking dick, but he sucked the dick because he wanted to suck dick, not because somebody else told him to do it. He did it because he wanted to do it. They probably was like, look here, man. They probably was like this here. Look here, man. You want to be in the gang? Yeah, I want to be in the gang. You're going to have to suck some dick. That nigga probably in his mind, and he, his facial expression was probably like, I'm 
okay? All right, all right. But in the back of his mind, he probably was just laughing like, shit, that's all I got to do? <laughs> shit, I just got to suck your dick before I came over here. It's crazy, man. This is crazy. This is madness. Now, the big question is, why did it take so long for them to make an arrest? This happened in 2016. And they're just making the arrest. So we don't have those answers yet. But dude is also accused of uh, putting out a cigarette on the boy's thigh. He's burnt, burned a cigarette on his thigh. Um, now he's going to prison. And people are thinking that he's going to get raped. Again, not going to happen. There's a culture that protects homosexual activity in prisons. If you get out of line, and you try to attack them, the authorities will hide you. That's a fact. He's not going to get raped. But this blows my mind, y'all. This blows my mind. These dudes' self-esteem is so low. They're so unlearned. They're so backwards. They're so desperate for attention, desperate for some form of acceptance that they will now suck dick to be in a game. Yo, man, if you like the videos I'm presenting to you, you find value in them, join the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the lady's talking about. Damn. Order in Texas.